coming to even medieval India, and, and there was some uh, so-called, you know, some his professionally trained historian who's in some foreign university who again uh, challenged me saying, oh, this is all bunkum, what he said, etc. And I said, anybody, as I said, can go and read it for themselves and make up their opinion. But what the glaring errors that I found, uh, mm. you know, among several others, um, there's, a, there's an entire document I have created almost of 40 pages of all wow. the errors and omissions in these books. Now, uh, you know, in the medieval uh, book too, the commensurate, uh, you know, attention that is given to certain very, very bigoted and uh, uh, intolerant kind of uh, dynasties like the Kiljis and Lodis and Tughlaqs. I don't know what their contribution to this country is and why we should dedicate an entire chapter to them. Whereas entire, chapter. entire chapter, there are almost two or three chapters, of course, to the Mughals. But yes. then uh, the Cholas under whom our maritime power extended to the Southeast, yes probably uh, less than uh, half a page about the Cholas. Uh, the Vijayanagar Empire, yes, is also something like that only. And uh, even the, the whole thing that the city of Hampi, which was, uh, which was extolled by so many foreign travelers and we all have so many accounts of how gold and rubies and all that was being sold on the streets and it was so prosperous and all of that. Uh, a city like Hampi, probably has one line somewhere which just says it just fell by itself uh, you know yeah. as if it was, there was no plunder there was nothing happening uh, yeah. you know and the most more shocking thing for me was Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj uh, yeah. has only a photograph there's only one photograph yeah. with a caption uh, slightly lengthy caption describing who the person in the photograph is that is all that uh, a, a young child would read and know about who Shivaji Maharaj is today. Mm -hmm.